Turning now to yet another arrest in connection to teen violence in the East Valley. This latest suspect allegedly involved in a group assault that happened in Santan Valley back in November. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 10, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. This is the second arrest this week connected to that violent attack from November. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono has been following the cases. She's live in studio with us tonight with the latest. Bianca? Yeah, Mark Caribe, this comes one day after Mesa police announced they also made an arrest in one of their cases. That suspect appeared in court today. I'm told the judge ordered the 17-year-old suspect be held without bail, something we have not seen in any of these cases so far. <laughs> The video is hard to watch. Assailants attacking a 16 year old. Now two are arrested, accused in the brutal attack. What was very concerning to me was what was concerning to every parent. What if that was my child? After the first arrest in the case came down Wednesday, 20 year old Jacob Pennington of Gilbert, Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb announcing a second on Friday, 18 year old Garrett Bagshaw of Mesa. Bagshaw has yet to appear before a judge, but officials say Pennington admitted to being associated with the Gilbert Goons, a group that's been linked to multiple assaults in the East Valley. Records say Pennington stated the name originated from a Snapchat group message. Prohibited from having any contact with anyone that he knows to be a member of the Gilbert Goons. Pinal County, not the only agency making arrests this week. On Wednesday, Gilbert police announcing four teens were arrested, accused of assaulting another teen outside of an in and out back in August. The case, previously shelved by the police department, was reopened amidst public pressure. For the mother of the victim, who's asked to remain anonymous, the news was bittersweet. It's disheartening that it's taken this long to those arrests. When her son was attacked, he was living with his dad in the East Valley. But due to a lack of action taken against his attackers, they feared for his safety. So they moved their son overseas, where he now lives with his mom. Not only did he have to, you know, try to overcome a physical assault, but then the ridicule and the bullying that ensued thereafter to his face. And he's continued to get messages from random people that are basically calling him out and saying that you deserve this because of X, Y, and Z. On Thursday, Mesa police arresting a 17-year-old suspect connected to yet another incident, this one happening in May of last year. Court officials telling 12 News that suspect appeared in court Friday, charged with one count of aggravated assault, but the judge ordering him held without bail. What? Seven arrests and counting as police in the East Valley continue to investigate. And tonight I did reach Garrett Bagshaw's mom over the phone, but she declined to comment. Bagshaw is scheduled to make his initial appearance in court tomorrow morning. We're live in studio tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News.